Ugh. Okay. Hi guys, today I'm filming my August favorites. Little disclaimer, I am sick. So, um, I'm talking with a little bit of congestion. And um, I will have to cough multiple times throughout this video, but I will cut that out. You don't have to worry about that. But besides that, we're not here for me to talk about I'm, that I'm sick. We're here for my monthly favorites. Woo! August, I didn't try a lot of new things. All of the favorites this month um, are things that I have loved before and stopped using and have started using them again. Um, I, nothing here is brand new. So let's hop in. If you've been watching me for a while, you have heard me talk about this foundation. It is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, I only have one color of this and it's 2W1. And I stopped using this for a while because I was self tanning and I was too dark for it. However, I ran out of self tan and I haven't been able to order any more at the moment. So I have been using this because it is a tad bit lighter. I used this the first time again last Saturday, no, two Saturdays ago for a Fall Out Boy concert and I wanted to do semi full face but not really like this kind of full face even though I'm pretty sure I did um, an eye look that looked like this but that doesn't matter. I needed a foundation that was going to stay the whole damn night and it was hot outside and it was a little humid and we were standing on the track and it was whoo it was so hot <laughs> and I tell you what my mascara got a little bit on my eyelids because it was so hot and that never happens I was pretty shocked about this but this stuff lasted all night long when I got home, it looked just as good as when I put it on, and I was like, man, I love you. You are the best. We jumped around. I had a layer of sweat on my arms. My friend, literally, <sighs> you could have, you could wring, you could have wringed his shirt out. He was so sweaty. Like, it was so hot. But... It worked really well and I love it for that purpose so love that foundation again I have used this product before this is the benefit what's up what's up sorry it is the little baby version I don't have the big version it is like champagne pop but a cream form of champagne pop and I use this to strobe I love to look super highlighted as you can see I actually didn't use it today though because I forgot about it but I usually I do my foundation and my concealer and then I put it on my cheekbones and where I'm gonna put uh, champagne pop later and then do the whole powder thing and then champagne pop and it makes it strobes me up nice and good so I love that third thing um, was in my last empties video which I will link below you will hear me talk about this so I'm not gonna go super into detail with it but it is the Aveeno therapeutic shave gel now I don't know why but this this particular shave gel is not in the women's shave gel area it's in the men's um, probably because they need extra soothing stuff for their face so I'm a big fan of this men's shaving cream because it helps prevent razor bumps soothes dry sensitive skin and there's no added fragrance and it's made with natural colloidal Col Col colloidal oatmeal something some kind of natural oatmeal um, and all of those things are totally true about a week or so after I shaved my legs 
I start getting razor burn and then I shave my legs and it's gone so this actually takes away some of my razor burn I like the way it smells um, and I like the packaging um, and it's it is rust proof so it doesn't rust or anything but I like it I like it a lot the next thing isn't really a product that you use um, because my favorite thing is not this notebook. <laughs> like, I actually don't really like this notebook, but I can't really use this one, which I actually love because it's my YouTube notebook. So, I had to use this one. Pardon my snot. <laughs> and I have been writing in this whenever I just have a hard day or something. Like, the last, the first time I wrote in it was the 16th of August and I wrote about six pages and then Monday I wrote six pages Monday I wrote six pages as well Monday was a pretty bad day uh, and then yesterday I had a fine fine day with just a few things on my mind so I really needed to write it down I like to write it down at night because what's ever on my mind I feel like if I put it in this journal it transfers from my mind to this journal so it's not like rolling around and I'm not thinking about it as I'm trying to go to sleep and that actually really helped me Monday because woof I'm uh, Monday was just a terrible 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 day and frankly it was a terrible night and I was getting sick and I just I didn't like it so journaling has been really really good for me I've done it on and off since like middle school and it just didn't stick but now instead of um, trying to make myself do it every night I'm just doing it when I feel like I need to just to kind of like get on the wagon and if I end up writing in it every single night then that's great I will but right now I'm just trying to do what I need to keep myself going and not drive myself crazy so that has been working out for me just wonderful like if you don't want to talk to anyone write it down because it's kind of like the equivalent um, but you're not getting like advice and a reaction back you're just writing it on paper and you can write whatever you want you can cuss like a sailor you can make no sense because it's your your journal and if you're the only person reading it then who cares what you write and how you write it so I've been loving that and then the very last thing like I said um, me and a group of my friends some are my friends and some of the people are just like in my social group but I went with them to a Fall Out Boy concert on the 15th which was the Second, second day of our state fair here in Illinois and oh my god I try to go to a concert every single year and last year I went to Hunter Hayes and that concert was awesome and I feel like if I would have been with a group of friends like actual like my age friends um, it probably would have been a little more fun but I went with one of my coworkers, who I am kind of friendly with, like, but we don't hang out ever, like, on a regular basis or anything like that, because there is quite an age gap in between us. So it was a little less, less fun. Um, this time with Fall Out Boy, I went with a whole bunch of my friends. Super, like, I'm not a big rock fan. I don't like rock music. But they're kind of like pop punk. If you've never listened to Fall Out Boy, you live under a rock. Because they've been around for such a long time. I listened to them a long time ago, like in elementary school and middle school and stuff. It's probably more of middle school. And, and then I just restarted listening to them a few years ago. And then this past week I've just religiously been listening to them. Right now... I am in love with the songs 
Where Did the Party Go, Just One Yesterday, The Mighty Fall, um, those are all not really new at all. I Don't Care is really old. <laughs> American Sweethearts is really old. Uh, the Kids Aren't Alright, Young Volcanoes. Uma Thurman is their newest song. But when I tend to listen to songs a lot, they get a little old. And that one has been on the radio for a while, so it's gotten a little old. Of course, I rock, rocked out to it at the concert. Um, and we'll see. Maybe I can put a few pictures and videos of the concert um, in this video. But American Beauty, American Psycho, two of the best known songs from Fall Out Boy, Thanks for the Memories and Sugar We're Going Down. This ain't a scene, it's an arm it's an arms race. Alone Together, the Phoenix. My possible favorite at the moment is Irresistible. And then I like Immortals. I like a few other few others of their songs. Um, duh. But these are just the ones I have found on SoundCloud. I like this one because it has a good beat, plus I love Patrick's voice. I actually, I want the chorus. So you get a little bit of that one. This is American Sweethearts. I skipped a little bit ahead so we can hear a little bit of the verse and then the chorus uh, uh, here's irresistible If you want to hear the rest of them, just go to the Fallout Boy Vivo page and they have all of these songs and more. That is it. Those are my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down below of what you've been loving for August. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. I will leave a link here so it directly subscribes you so it's nice and easy and simple for you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday and I will talk to you later. Bye! <laughs>